Tonight we hear the voice of Lauren McCluskey reaching out for help to a second police department. She called Salt Lake City Police in the days before she was murdered, hoping to get some attention for her case and get it moved along. 2 News Brona Tumulty broke the story earlier today and Brona, you listened to all of those tapes. We did indeed, Jim. Now, even though Lauren had already made a case with Campus Police, she phoned Salt Lake City Police because she felt her voice was not being heard. I, I've been blackmailed um, for, for money. It's a voice that's now almost chilling to hear. Let me go ahead and get you over. University of Police will probably take the case then. I've, I've talked to them already. Lauren McCluskey pleading for help in the days before her death. You already did talk to him and tell him about it. I wasn't sure how long they were going to take. Seemingly frustrated with campus police. They haven't updated or done anything. So the, the case, it involves extortion. She called Salt Lake Dispatch not once. And what prompted you to call Salt Lake City, please? But twice. Because I haven't gotten updates. Yeah. And it's been a week. Each time referred back to university authorities. University 911, what is your emergency? The next McCluskey we hear from is Lauren's dad. My name's Matt McCluskey. On the night, his child was murdered. He was abducted while we were talking to her on the telephone. Okay. So, so we heard her being assaulted. But this tragedy could potentially have been prevented. One of the things that, that we have struggled with uh, in this county and, and along this state is, is the exchange of good information. If police departments were more open to sharing their work. Why not share it? Why not be transparent? You know, you know it goes to a leadership problem uh, or a leadership issue within those organizations. That's according to retired deputy chief with Unified Police, Chris Bertram. Tell me the story again. That's a frustrating feeling that victims have. Who says if officers were better able to link cases, it could save lives. It's like Lauren's case, and these, you don't have days. Sometimes you have hours, sometimes you have less. Now, we also received a statement tonight from Salt Lake City Dispatch. It says, in heart, we take every call seriously and handle them all in a professional manner. Our heart is broken for the McCluskey family. Again, they followed protocol in this case. They did everything by the book. Live in Salt Lake, Bruno Tumulty, 2 News.